hello in this video i will talking about topic organizing for a office operation so organization organizing this involves identifying subdividing grouping and coordinating the various activities required to achieve the objective of the institution. Organizational structures. The tax, task of organizing when completed bring about the bed of an important yet invisible framework. The invisible framework of organization structure is intended to help fasten close coordination among the members of the working group. Organizational chart. It is the type of record showing the formal organizational relations which executive intended, intended should be prevailed. It shows who supervises whom and how the various units are related to each other. Actual organizational lines. Small lines, small office lines, large centralized office lines, large decentralized office lines. Five office patterns. One fully centralized. In this type of office, the responsibility for all office management functions are loads in hands of a single official who is called office manager. Centralize The function of office manager is to finish all other departments of the company with an office service which they need and which are commonly used by all such as messenger roll, tenographic and transcripting, typing and filling and others. Decentralized. Under this kind of office management, each department head is individually responsible for all office activities relate to his department. Four, there are companies which are set up general under decentralized arrangement. Five, there is a company in which office management functions are combined. At time made subcoordinate to some other major function of business. Jobs in the office. The office manager. As a top office hold, he plans, directs, and controls the various activities in the office. Typist. As communication in business and industry are generally made through the use of letter, undoubtedly the position of typist in an office is primary importance. Typist position can be categorized by a typist 1, 2, and 3. Secretary Secretary is a right hand employee or assistant of the office manager. Tenographer Position of tenographer are also classified into various classes such as tenographer 1, 2, 3, like typist position. Jobs in office clerk. Office work is generally performed by clerical voice made up by a variety of workers, include typist, stenographer, secretary, filling clerk, and others. Clerk are classified and ranked according to the tax task and assignment. 
filling clerk. The principal duties of it are consist of recording documents in the book for the purpose, sort them out and file in the filling cabinet hand and hand with letter of all kinds, reports and data and others. Accounting clerk. The task of accounting clerk is to assist the accountant and perform other tasks that may be assigned by the accountant. Stock clerk. He records goods in store for the purpose of guidance and inventory. Duplicating machine operator. As many documents, reports, statistics, data and letters need to be duplicated and employee may be assigned for this position. Messenger. Documents, letters and other written information are transmitted from one company or office to another through the service of messenger. Receptionist. Job of service is that of receiving patients coming into the office. This portion is not general founded in small office. Delegation. It is a high enhancer for the effective and development of subcoordinate since they are provided with opportunity and experience necessary for their promotion. Principle of Delegation. Principal function definition for the purpose of facilitating the accomplishment of the goals. It is necessary and essential that activities must be grounded, grouped in a accordance with their relation to one another. Secular principle. This principle refers to the chain of direct authority relationship from one superior to subordinates through the organizations. Authority level principle. It is combination of both the functional and secular principles. Principle of unity of command. A fundamental principle in management is that its subordinates should report to only one superior. Principle of delegation expect result. Delegation of authority by result expected implies that goods had been clearly established just as plans for the accomplishment had been laid down. Six principle absoluteness and responsibility. Responsibility cannot be delegated. No superior can escape through delegation. Responsibility for the activities of its subordinates. Always operation and procedures. Always employees. The office employees usually expect to be treated with the assent on money. Office employees develop close relationships with one another than those working in shop or plant. The appearance. Office and personal experience have a definite impact on client and prospect. Office hours. The corporate office will observe the minimum hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday with lunch break of one hour, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Time card. Time card will keep daily indicating time and out, lunch break and absences. Graveness. It is employees dissatisfaction with the working condition or has a problem in nature. They shall discuss the matter to the superior supervisor who shall do possible to resolve the matter. Outside activities, the companies must encourage the participation of its employees in the industry, education, civil, civic and social activities. That's all. Thank you so much for listening and your time please subscribe to this uh, channel for more business on finance and management topics thank you